The Internet of Things is growing fast, but security is still behind. 4 out of 5 Internet of Things device makers are failing basic cyber security principles by failing to provide a means for customers to notify security flaws in their goods, something that may possibly expose device users to cyber attacks and invasions of privacy. The IoT Security Foundation analyzed hundreds of famous IoT product makers and discovered that just slightly more than one in five promotes a public route for reporting security vulnerabilities in order for them to be resolved. The 21% of businesses delivering this type of channel has increased somewhat since last year, which the IoT Security Foundation research sees as glacial progress toward providing what it calls a fundamental hygiene mechanism. This is despite efforts by governments throughout the world, including the United Kingdom, the United States, Singapore, India, and Australia, as well as the European Union, to emphasize the significance of cybersecurity in IoT devices and the ability to disclose vulnerabilities. According to the report, some of the lack of vulnerability disclosure policy may be attributed to non-traditional IT businesses entering the IoT market for the first time, such as fashion companies launching connected products or kitchen appliance manufacturers incorporating smart features into their products. In many circumstances, it's highly probable that this is the manufacturer's first experience with needing to think about incorporating cybersecurity into products, so not only may vulnerabilities make their way into gadgets, but there's no clear route for reporting them. When it comes to views towards security researchers, some firms are still trapped in the dark ages. Their answer will be to assign attorneys to the researchers or to try to compel them to sign NDAs. It's rather stupid behavior, given that we've had ISO standards for this since 2014, and it's been considered good practice for even longer. When the legislation comes into effect, some of these businesses will be shocked. Internet of Things devices are becoming more common in homes and companies. While many household brands ensure their products have good security practices, the report names Sony, Panasonic, Samsung, LG, Google, Microsoft, Dell, Lenovo, Amazon, Logitech, and Apple as examples, it's common for consumers to purchase cheaper alternatives that don't have as much of a focus on security. This implies that if security flaws are discovered and there is no way to notify the manufacturer, users may be put at danger. That's especially true for organizations that appear to have gone down, as the study mentions, some have, which means that even if there was a way to report the vulnerability, it's unlikely to be repaired. However, while the study report frequently paints a bleak image of the IoT security landscape today, the IoT Security Foundation thinks that this will improve over time and that it will become a core aspect of product design. Security is similar to quality. To be properly delivered, it must be integrated in all operations inside a corporation so that it is insured throughout, that is, it must not be an afterthought or tacked on said John Moore, Management Director of the IoT Security Foundation. I believe security will follow a similar path to quality over the last 30 years as we restructure our society and economy to be more digital, if we build a widespread knowledge of its basic significance and get the procedures right, we'll do it organically, not as an add-on," he said.